Մեծարկով առունախակար առաջին իգին Հայաստանի Your Eminences, Ambassadors, Distinguished Guests, Հոգևոր այրեր, Հոգևոր տույրեր, I would like to congratulate all of you on the 100th anniversary of the independence of Armenia. May 28 doesn't simply denote independence, but is also the embodiment of a miracle. The resurrection of Armenia after only three years of the start of the greatest tragedy in its history. The genocide of Armenians meticulously planned and executed by Turkish government from 1915 to 1923. There is no greater date in modern Armenian history comparable to that miracle which brought back Armenian independence statehood after more than five and a half centuries under various harsh foreign war. There are no greater feats than the, than the heroic victories of our nation under the leadership of Aram Manukyan in the battlefields of Rashabalan, Arakilise and Sadarabad. These major victories established Armenia, and the phoenix was reborn. Armenia returned to the world map of nations as a free, independent, and progressive republic. From the shapeless chaos, as Vratian called, of those days, a reborn Armenia emerged. The first major achievement of this Armenia was the establishment of a strong state that provided a homeland to all Armenians, that built the pillars of modern state on the best values of humanity, and that rekindled hope in its people. A people oppressed, tortured, dispersed, murdered, collectively crushed, but who never lost its national will to survive and contribute to world civilization. A people that saw in the newly adopted tricolor flag and the male Hellenic national hymn a source of hope and national determination. The second important characteristic was the return of the national identity of Armenia, whose population was constantly oppressed and dispersed within the confines of two empires that deliberately sought to either eliminate, as in the Turkish case, or numerically reduce the presence of ethnic Armenians and their own land. And the third was its commitment to social justice. Even during those difficult days of war, poverty and disease, when our very survival was at risk, our leaders at the time did not shy away from addressing the social, economic and cultural needs of the people to progressive policies and laws that brought us pride and worldwide recognition. The State University of Yerevan was established in 1919. Armenian women obtained the right to vote, thus making Armenia one of the first nations in the world to establish true equality. Land reform was instituted, individual, collective, and minority rights were established, and national symbols were adopted to signify the unity of the nation. In Zamar, Gagnagi, Lakutunes, Elner, Voraiso, Melhayo, Amiagi, Donagal, Chang, and Gelaxi, Albengaroi, Gisanti, Patsuno. Aduk Shagal, Chumba, and Tespanin, Vorais, Zaki, or Tekelo, Valit, and Cernets, Vor Mias, Napal, Ashkadink, Manayun, Holotanish, Magank, Nezneru, Հայկագանգովիվ է։ Որդեր մասնակիտության, քիմիակիտության դոկտորը, որ իր գյանքը նվիրեց հայ ժողոթի ձալայության կոծին, զետունի ապստանպուտեն են, մինչեր բանքոտոման, հայ տատարագան գրիվներ, թիվլիսին նավաշպանություն, Սամարդ կարջ այդ իմաս տարդից զարգնելու վրադարածվող գյանքմը, որ շիչ է ծավգանուղ, ինչպես ինք հայտնած է իրգակ ունը դեր իմներուն, ծեղասպանութեն են վշտահար սրդի տակնավի է դեղանքով զրիցերությությությությությությությությությ 
ատիշ գերանում ստազին։ Վրադավետին, իտպես նաև ընգեր զողանի տազյանին, որ այսօվա հովանավորդեն է մեկ նեծաղսելու և բինարգայացին տողնիկին ադրիան and is saddened by its shortcomings, who is not a simple observer of events, but a participant in helping Armenia achieve its potential and solidify its statehood, and who is one of those who aims to build bridges between the motherland and various communities of Armenians dispersed by fate and history. We all look upon May 28 as the major signal of the collective potential of our nation to achieve greatness. For over 27 years, our newly independent Armenia struggled to reach its potential of becoming that ideal homeland which we had dreamt about and had built in our minds and souls throughout the long years of Soviet rule. Armenia's successes are our collective successes as a dispersed nation, and similarly, Armenia's failures are our collective failures. Now, Reinvigorated by a new burst of optimism and democratic values, we have the potential of multiplying those successes and minimizing, hopefully even eliminating, its failures. Now we have the golden opportunity of doing our part in helping Armenia, together with Artsakh and Javaf, not only to survive, but to prosper through hard work, dedication, resilience, and its well-deserved penchant for creativity and innovation. This is our national collective task, and failure is not an option. Thank you, Mr. President, for honoring us with your presence on this auspicious occasion, and thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for organizing this important celebration in Washington and Armenian soil. Without further ado, I, I invite you, gentlemen, and uh, actually also the, the architect of, of the project and and, uh, and the sculptor, to join us in unveiling the the, uh, the bust.